Okay, so that's my pretty much improvised version of Silent Night, but I just wanted to take you through it, you know, coming up to Christmas, maybe you've still got a nan or a grandma and you want to play them something and you don't want to play them your latest um, polyphia lick. Polyphia? Polyphia? I don't know, polyfiller. Anyway, right, so, to start off with, I'll put this tab up on Patreon if you're interested, you know, you've got a few days to learn it before Christmas, before you have to play it to Nan. Um, so I'm starting off with this. So we've got an open A, then we've got a C sharp here on the D string, and then a D, and then an A. Um, and then what I'm doing is playing the B up here, then the A again, and then try and keep this ring finger planted and do this little switch. That's a dog. Like that. Neat. It's alright, mate. So, yeah, you get this little thing. He's wanting to get involved again. So you get that. And then I want to keep that A ringing out, so I'm going to just move up to here so we get a D, G, B, E on the 12th fret. And then you can move that melody note down to the B, uh, C sharp here, sorry, the 14th fret on the B string. Or you could do with like a more traditional bar or try and keep it open. And then down to this chord here. So we've got an F sharp, a B, an E, an A, and a D. So sort of like a D, six and nine, in the first inversion with the F sharp in, in the bass. And then down to this D in first inversion. So you get. So an F sharp, an A, D, another A, and then this really nice chord for the G. So you get a G, an A, a D, and then an A in the top, and our melody note is here. And you want to try and keep things held down whilst you play this melody. So the melody goes. that and then back to that D chord, down to a triad, same thing twice, and then come up here, that same chord again, to a B minor, so a B, a D, a and then another D and then I wanted to do this nice little um, basically a G sharp minus 7 flat 5 so we get a G sharp, a D, an F sharp, a B, open B and an F sharp in the top so then this and then you want to try and keep things kind of, for this part, this was sort of planned. So I'm going to play an A, D, G, a D, and, a, and a, you're also borrowing the E at the top. And we're going to have the melody note do this. And what I thought was if you play the uh, top string, like that, uh, so you get a D, E, a, oh, A, A, and then the, the B, like that. Or like that. And then just end on a, oh well, this A part, so an A, a G, Top another A. And 
then the melody note. Or... Then to a D, wherever you want to play the D. In the top you need a D. No, hopefully that was very interesting um, and slightly helpful. I'll, I'll try and do like another little playthrough of it. Hopefully that's vaguely interesting, um, feel free to join up on Patreon if you haven't already and I'll put the tab for this, there's some other Christmas tunes, maybe I'll do some more over the next few days, leave a comment if this is what you're looking for, <laughs> I don't know why it would be, I'm using the Helix now, the preset's called Clean Your Life, I'm just a nice, pretty. Cheers.